Hi, all you Clovers. Uh, so my name is Phoebe, and I'm going to show you the update that we did to modular, specifically how we optimized it so that there's now only one modular library and what that means for all the old modular blocks and how it'll all work, along with some updates we've done to our settings for modular. So I know you're as excited as I am. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Let's talk about modular. So as a lot of you might know, we've optimized our modular library to one so that you don't have to like figure out which one is it in. It's only in one now. So you can go to modular library and then you can get kids, men, women. We already have some blocks for you. You can also like bring in and create your own, all of that. There's a whole tutorial in-depth modular that goes through everything about it. This is how we've updated modular a bit. And let's go through it with the optimized modular library. So I'm bringing in a file that actually uses the old modular library files. And I'm going to drop this in. What happens, you may ask? Well, this pop-up window comes up. And it's basically telling you that Clo acknowledges that this file is from an older modular library and that it was modular, it's still going to be modular, and it's going to be loaded automatically like that. Okay, don't be fooled though, all right, that that means it's going to be magically in your modular library. No, you know why? Because how will we know where to put it? right? Like, what if you brought in a pair of pants and we just like automatically put it in shirts? Like, no. So you still have to put it in where you would want to find it in your modular library. But close like, we got you, we got it. Like, it's going to load perfectly, but you've got to figure out where you want it saved. So I'm going to hit OK. And look at that. Great and everything. Shirt. Perfect. Now, here's another fun fact. If I go into settings, user settings, and in other, right, I can go to this modular library and I can pick where I want my default folder to be. So I can go to this open and when I go to save this, I can do like, oh, it should save in my like desktop testing modular. Great, right? So like that's where my modulars will automatically go to be saved, which is great for like huge companies or individual people or anywhere where you're like, I just want them all saved in one space. Now they can be. So I have this shirt and it's modular, but I still need to then say like, okay, file, save as, style, right? And then I can go to men's, women's, or kids, or I can add my own. And you see how like it automatically went to my testing modular folder because that's what I'm telling Clo. Is a new folder, whatever. Select and then category and okay. And then I'm going to select this style and look at that. I don't know. I'm not being very creative right now. Now block. And what I can do is I can add some. I can open. You know the drill. But I'm going to hit add. Front body. Okay. Back body. Okay. Sleeves. Collar. Cuff. Do I have a hem? No, I'm all good. All right, great. Now I'm gonna go to frame front body, just like that. Enter. Okay, back body, just like that. Enter. Okay, sleeves. Enter. Okay, collar. Enter, dynamite, cuffs, enter, 
And of course, I can have like an image or anything that I want. And if I did create new and okay, all set. Please check your taglines. I think everything's wonderful. I did such an amazing job. Hit OK. Great. Now I can go to my modular library in my practice. Button, button. It's all there. Also, if I go into my desktop and I go to my testing modular. So here's my desktop, testing modular, practice, button down shirts. Here we go. So it'll all go wherever it's supposed to go and all of that. And now it'll be all saved. But that's, that's the workflow here, guys. Pretty good. You just have to pick where you want it all saved, but it will all still load the old ones in. And yeah, if you, yeah, if you have any questions about it, like comment section. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any more questions about modular or how it works, please use the comments below. And also, if you want to know more about modular and you're like, now I've got to know it all, check out that in-depth modular library and mode uh, video. That's also me. So you have to listen to me again. Sorry. Um, but yeah, and thanks so much for watching. And continue to use our YouTube channel. It's got so many great videos. Thanks again.